Assalamu alaikum Today in this lecture we will learn about a scaffold widget for material design Let's start a new project The scaffold is good enough to create a general purpose mobile application and contains almost everything you need to create a functional and responsive app In this lecture we will use this scaffold widget By default we get this code Let's remove all of this code and start fresh. So first import package flutter material dot dart and for the main function execute this method run app and we will create a material app. First go to the preferences. Go to the preferences and then click editor then journal and in appearance check this show closing labels in dart source code it is very helpful so let's write home scaffold and here in our scaffold first we will use this app bar and it will create our app bar let's set its background color and in app bar set title it's my flutter app open your emulator and execute this and here you can see that we have this app bar with our title it's my flutter app let's set background color to deep orange and here you can see that the app bar has a background color let's write some text to the body so body text this is body and here it is we can use center widget and in our center widget we can place this text as child and here is the text this is body let's change background color and here you can see that we have this text debug we can remove this text from here flutter inspector here in flutter inspector you can see all of the material app and widgets go to the more actions option and check this hide debug mode ban So when we execute this app so now now we don't have this debug but when we again execute this you can see that the debug banner is here let's remove it permanently so in material app type this debug show check mode banner false and now we don't have any debug banner
let's cut this code from here and create a new class class main app extends stateless widget here we have two types of widgets stateful and stateless right now we are using a stateless widget so use this stateless widget paste your code and right click this main app and click generate and here you can see that we can generate many methods but now we will generate override method so click this override method and in the stateless widgets click this build widget method click ok and now here you can see that we have this override cut this and paste it here and place our code into this build method now in our run app method execute this class main app So thank you very much for watching if you want to check out more lessons like this then please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you have any question then leave it in comment section see you in the next lecture take care bye bye